casserole here. And I'm here. I have a another thrift thrift store state sale haul for you. Um, I have a couple things. I'm trying to remember what all I've showed you guys and what I have not. <laughs> it's very hard for me to remember. These, I don't remember how much I paid. These were definitely at an estate sale. A lot of stuff um, that this estate sale had was not, was not vintage. It was like stuff that somebody had made or done um, themselves. And there were though, well, in a lot of it was also not, not sterling, not vintage. Um, but there were a couple things that were. Hello, Leona. And so this is one of the things that I thought was absolutely beautiful. Ugh, my husband's pressure cooker is going off. Hello, Mike. So this, here, let me show you guys, is glass. Hi, Sal. And... It, I don't know if there's a name for this glass. A lot of glass has special names. And I don't know if this one does or does not. Um, but there is, what, four strands? One, two, three, four, five strands. And this is what the extender looks like. So it is older and just beautiful. This is heavy. This is well-made. This is in excellent condition. I think, I don't remember, $8 or something like that a piece. I don't remember, 10 But I thought this one was definitely worth it. It is knotted in between each glass bead. Hello, Miss Carla. It's nice to have people that have share my name. Um, as the people who share my name, you know, it is not a normal thing <laughs> for other people to share our names. Not too, too many Carlas out there, but I'm meeting more and more lately. So I love this. I thought this was just stunningly beautiful. Picked it up. It will go in my glass collection. Um, eventually, I'm going to get to point at some of my collections. I'm going to try to, you know, as I bring things in, bring things out. I'm going to try to. Can't, no promises. No promises, guys. And then I also grabbed some of these. Um, some of these rosaries. This one is 800 silver. And it definitely has issues. So I wasn't sure if I was going to like fix it or not I th actually I think that's just how this one's made with like the things like that but this looks like pomegranates it is it is crystal and 800 silver so I guess I've met more <laughs> more uh Carla's probably I, I mean it's not that, that not that many actually so I thought this one was really beautiful. I don't know if I'll fix it. I got to count because there's a specific number that are supposed to be in there. And that'll depend on if I fix it or not. This one, um, like the thing is, when they're broken beyond repair, for the most part, I will craft with them. Because these are beautiful brass and crystal with the AB coating on it, Aurora Borealis. Um, so, you know, that's what I do sometimes if things are broken. I like to use those. This was also in there. It's hard to know, like, if something got cracked and that's why it's cracked or it's just, like, was the stone <laughs> but this is a beautiful moonstone I love moonstone Gina from my pink bag has some amazing 
amazing uh, moonstone items right now. I also got this. This is marked on the side. I don't... I haven't tested it to see if it could possibly be sterling or not. It's not marked at all. Certainly might not be, but even if it's not, I think it's signed by the artist down here. Let me show you. I cannot read or make that out, of course. And then it's carved on the front side with the Mother of Pearl. And I just thought this was unique. I don't think I've ever really seen anything like this. This, I, I think I'm going to um, bring to auction. I, we are doing an auction on Wednesday, by the way, guys, just so you know. But um, yeah, I thought, I thought this was a nice piece. This one I got in a recent auction, and like I told you guys, whenever I see you guys, feel free to come up to me. I do have to put a disclaimer. I am awkward. I have <laughs> weird social anxiety, so like I might be awkward. Don't expect a lot because I'm really weird and just really, really awkward in person. Um, I did meet a person um, who was lovely at this estate sale, and she got a really nice item from there. Um... This is Miracle, which redoes a lot of the Victorian um, Scottish jewelry. So they're all like remakes of that. And this, I think, was like $3. So this was a really good price. Um, I always feel like I'm socially awkward and I don't say the right thing or do the right thing but that's that's just me I'm kind of crazy <laughs> um so I, I will probably also put this in in there I think because if you were to find this that's a Victorian's piece uh you would not like it would be so expensive so it's kind of nice to be that this company miracle redid some of those um items so that you know you you have have them yeah i'm trying to remember how much it was i just i just don't remember so this i bought actually for the chain i'm gonna take it apart because the thing is the one is sterling and the other one isn't anyway so um i might put this on a different chain and also um this one will be up for grabs. So these these three are. Um, but this is a sterling chain. And I have been putting um, layers together. I'm going to try to do a video on it. Um, I have a wonderful that I love um, layer of stars. And I've been putting one together for hearts. And I have one or with buffaloes and so these are really really nice chains for layering and so I love that put that to the side because these two are for sure going in my collection this one I may bring too because it doesn't really fit me I don't I don't like certain rings on this finger because they look crooked I like rings on this finger, but it doesn't really fit, so. But this is gorgeous. It is glass on this beautiful bezel, and you can see on the other side. So it is a beautiful piece. It has a look of, like, moonstone or something like that, and it's got, like, it's a duochrome kind of. It's just, it's beautiful. It is a beautiful glass pendant, so... I also thought somebody might love that. And so, like, I dug. There was so much stuff. I love digging, though. It's one of my, one of my favorite things to do. And there, there was, like, a whole table full of stuff. So this is Whiting and Davis. It is signed Whiting and Davis. Oops. And I've never seen ones like this before. I wish I could find... The other items that went with this. 
because these are gorgeous. I've never even seen cabochons like this before either. It's just so beautiful. And these I love too. I think um, I'm going to hold on to these ones. Just because I've been getting more like Bali type of jewelry. Bali Indian. And these would go with some of the ones that I've been getting and liking. And it's got, I think, um, I was going to say pomegranate, um, what is the word? Gee, garnets. <laughs> it's not pomegranates on there. And it's that really fun, like, Etruscan look. I mean, these are, pretty sure these are sterling silver. And I love those. Hello, Crazy May. I would not have guessed Whiting and Davis either, but I think I saw the back. And I don't, I don't know why I thought it was, but it was. And they're beautiful. And I love them. This I'm going to keep too. You know me. I, but I am doing some organizing, so we'll see what happens. This I think is older. It's got a C-class, but that doesn't always tell you anything. But, like, look at this. Isn't it so neat? I don't know. I think it's glass. Like, press glass um, button, which I've never really seen before. I just thought that was really, really neat. And that would look great with marcasites or something like that. So I thought that was beautiful. And then this one I will auction. I think this one is Sterling Silver. It's marked down here. But it's a really pretty sweet pendant. And I know it's hard sometimes because we sell, like, all the big stuff sells. But... Sometimes it's nice to have these little, little pieces um, that are nice and dainty. And this has a real pearl on it to just layer up with stuff. So put it over here. And then I bought this online on one of the selling sites. I've never seen this. I have to clean it up, and I cleaned up the last ones, and oh my goodness, it shined, shined, shined. These look so amazing when you clean them up, and I did take my hair dryer, because the problem with these is, because they're bezel set, the water can definitely get stuck in there, and then it will rust or get vertigree or whatever, so I do always dry them whenever I submerge these in the water, but you kind of, like, I don't know. That's what I do. I, you know, that's my disclaimer on there. <laughs> but this one does have the hang tag. It is Swarovski, and it is a square bezel set, black and white crystal necklace. And it's just, it's amazing. I've never seen ones like this. They're, it's dirty, but it's in really good condition. I didn't really see anything that was really wrong with any of these. So I just, oh, this is so nice. And then it also came with the bracelet. And I think one of these has a chip in it. So I'm going to replace it with the extender one. Because I think it was one of the black ones. That was chipped. Let me see. Ah, uh, yeah, this one. So it's one of the black ones right there. So I'm going to take this one and just replace it in here. Because they have the jump ring. So it'll be easy. And then I'll just, you know, wear it without it. Because I think it is so big on me with that extender anyway so they're heavy these are heavy so that's what you can always tell the ones that are crystal because they're nice and heavy but 
I love those. I think those are great to layer with. Speaking of layering. This, I actually, I got some rhinestones, which I need to go to the guy's house and buy even more. But this is unmarked. But it is really well made. And these are tremblers inside. They all move. One of them was like stuck, but it does move. And I just have to find a blue or just replace all of them. Um, rhinestone for this. We'll see. But isn't that gorgeous? Even with the one missing, I just, I, I need to find that one. I really should have, I should have brought these to the guy's house when I got those. I don't know why I didn't, because I had this one and then like, this one, too. This one isn't marked or vintage, I don't think. I don't even know. But this one's missing two of the baguette rhinestones. Oh, and there's one there, too, and one there, too. But they're all, they're all prong set. And one there. So... Um, tell me what you need, Mike. I might, I might have something. I might not. We'll see. They're very, very hard. Um, cause those stones, I could even, I could bring them over, but, um, they're in so many different colors, so many different sizes. It's so difficult. So this I got from an estate sale. This I'm going to keep. I... I don't always love these because I feel like your neck isn't super, like, isn't round. So I keep trying to fall in love with torques. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> um, this isn't exactly a torque, but it's similar. Um, this is actually Mark 925 Italy. And it is, I thought this would be really cool for some of the um, unique pendants that I have so like oh the balls the balls are hard to get these through so I'm gonna need a really big bail but you know picture picture this on there that's neat I do I do quite like this one I think that was that was nice so I've never seen anything like that I pick up things that I've never seen before. All right, I'm going to show you some artsy stuff that I got. There's two of them. And uh, I think they're weird. I love them. Y'all know I like weird stuff. So this was obviously handmade by somebody. They made this. It looks kind of scary because <laughs> it's a little... A little rusty, wear you away, but I kind of like that. I don't think it's going to poke me, so. I And I just got my tetanus shot, so I should be good. And then, because even these are, like, these are, like, cut. And they almost feel like they were cut after. After the cane was made, instead of, like, while it was still hot. <laughs> I love the color. And then there's um, bloodstone, I think. I think it's something like that. And then these glass tubular beads. And in orange. Orange Sally. And actually, I think these aren't even bloodstone. I don't know what stones those are. Um, but this is obviously an art piece. And I just, I love it. I think it's so unique and so very obviously handmade. The whole thing with cane. And I just, I love that. So that'll go with my really cool 
artsy type pieces. Do you guys know I have a couple that are kind of like that? And then this one. This, I tested. This tested positive for sterling. Pretty sure it's a sterling clasp. And then it's on leather. I had to clean this one up. It had some... So, verdigris is not always... Um, like, green it can sometimes be, like, gunk, too. And, like, just disgustingness. I don't even want to know. And that's kind of... I don't know. There was some green built up there because you can kind of tell it's not verdigris. None of this is worn away. It was just like on there. And this reminds me of, so there's a company called Flying Colors that makes things out of ceramic, like uh, enameled ceramic like this. This to me looks like runts. And I love that. And I think it will be really nice in the summer. I have a white dress that I wore for Easter. And I thought, you know, this is really just cool. Like, how often do you see things like this or this? And that's why I pick them up. Like I said, I pick up things I don't see that often anymore. Or, you know, I just know that they're worth something. Um, let's see. This one. I think there was a store that was closing that I grabbed some stuff from that was like 50% off. This was $6. I just thought this was pretty. It is fruity, isn't it? Um, so this is more, more modern, but it's beautiful. And uh, really nice colors in it. So, got that. This made me laugh, and that's why I got it. <laughs> this was $2.99. This is baby fat. And these are huge. So you guys remember, I think baby fat, were they big in the 2000s? They have a cat on them, and I just thought how big they were. They're they're actually not that heavy, but they're just they're kind of fun, and it's a throwback in their vintage ish now, um, retro, probably more retro than vintage. We'll go with retro. I also got this. I have no idea why. I don't know who it is. For some reason, I thought it was sterling silver, and I had purchased it, and I was like. I got it home, and I was like, why? I do that every once in a while, because I paid a lot of money for this. A lot of money for this. There is this symbol. I have no idea what it is. If anyone does, let me know. I have zero idea what that is. I totally overpaid for this. I have no idea why I did. I still think it's cool. I think it's sterling or like silver plated over bronze or it looks more like bronze, maybe copper. I don't know, but it was expensive. Um, it is unique. It's definitely not something that you see every day, um, but every once in a while, I buy things without thinking, and I get them home, and I'm like, why? Why did I do that? This one was $5.99. It does have some issues, but I thought it was really beautiful. These are all glass, and just says like A182 or something like that. Hello, Sharon. I just, I thought it was really pretty. I will probably bring that to the auction too. It was because of the art glass type beads in here. It just seemed very arty.
And I got these. Also, these are on a Kenneth Cole thing. I don't know if they really are. I think they're wonderful. I don't remember if there was a reason why I wasn't sure that they were or not. Oh, I think, I think it is marked something. on the thing, but I couldn't quite see. So, I don't know. Either way, I thought these were great. They're super fun. Hello, Miss, Miss Tanya. I don't remember how much I paid for these. This is uh, Kendra Scott. I love the look of these, but it's just so big on me. I don't know. I think it might be too big for me. I'm not sure. I've got this, and I think this is something Miss Sally is going to really like. This has a fold-over clasp, but is not sterling, but it is a tourist New York City bracelet. It's got Rockefeller Center, and it's enamel. United Nations building. The New York skyline. Which, I can't tell if it's got the Twin Towers or not in it. Um, Statue of Liberty. Times Square, Coney Island, and the Empire State Building. Times Square is a little benty, but not bad. And nothing's cracked or anything. But I thought that was really fun. I, I know a lot of people really like these types of bracelets. Um, I actually saw one that was like that, that had Niagara Falls on it. <laughs> I really, I definitely thought about it. I don't recall if I showed you guys this or not. Um, how? I don't remember if this is marked. I feel like it's not. Oh, my pinky's stuck in it. Hold on. Trying to find. Oh, there it is. There it is. Where the, <laughs> the thing was. I like these. I wear things like this. It is, you know, not in completely perfect condition. It's got some issues, but it's really fun and nice. It's got the nice square, multiple strands. I just thought that was really cool. Like I said, it is something that I, I wear stuff like that. This was a shame because I bought it and I, I was in a hurry because I went on my lunch. And I did not realize that it was not in very good condition. It's a YSL. Um, and it, it, it is just, it's not in great condition. So there's, there's wear. I don't know, maybe, you know, if somebody wants to buy it and use one of those gold leaf pens or something, they could do that because it's a shame. And so I, I ended up overpaying for that one just because it's just not in, not in very good condition. Unfortunately. Uh, so I also bought this one. This was $13.49. But I love moons. And this one can be a pen, pendant or a brooch. And it is signed 
Thailand. So it's got marcosites and probably CZs in it. I just thought that was lovely. And this one was $5.99. I will probably also bring this one to auction on Wednesday. It's on Sally's channel, Vintage Discoveries. This is LUC925. LUC, I know, is, stands for something. don't remember what. I'll have to look it up. But this has peridot, amethyst, pearls, and rose quartz in it. And maybe even jade or something like that there. And then has the mother of pearl flower, which is attached. There is uh, pearls. Isn't that so pretty? I love things like this. It's perfect for spring. It snowed here today. So I don't believe in spring right now. So hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully floral prints and pastel colors will make it stop snowing. That's what I'm hoping because that's no bueno. So I think so because I just, I have a lot of stuff like this, but I always pick it up because I love it. Um, so yeah. So this was 36 and... Um, let's see if I can. I just, I love this. I think it was half off. Can't get the price tag off. Um, but I'm pretty sure somebody made this. I don't remember. It's, this is a moss agate. Shut up, Mike. <laughs> um, I think this is all sterling silver. Um, so it was, what did I say, 36 and then half off. Isn't this so beautiful? Hello, Miss Anna. I just, I love things that are ugly, cool like this. Um, that's what the back looks like. It's just really well made. And I love that it kind of looks like antibiotics in a Petri dish or something like that. And there is some crystal in there. It's just so cool. This is something that I will wear. Um... So that's my thought process. I don't know. I may also give this to a friend. We'll see. We'll see. I think it's, she loves huge earrings. We'll see. This one also going to most likely bring to the auction just because, like I said, I, ha I have a lot of these. I pick them up because I love them, and I have a lot of these because I wear them. This is 925 as well. So marked in here. Yeah. I don't think it's much. Sometimes they're marked inside of here. I've had ones that were just marked inside of there. This has many strands of two, four, six, seven. Odd number of strands. Two on this one, three on this one, and two on this one. And I thought it was a very interesting combination, though. Have you guys ever seen a combination of, um, like, pearls with, uh, I don't know if it's jadeite, serpentine, jade, I don't know what kind of stones these are, but they're chips either way, so, um, you know, they're not going to be the highest quality, even if it was jade, but... Is still really stunning. And it's like something I never really see. Is this combination. And so I thought it was pretty classy. And kind of like green is appropriate for 
every season green than the pearls. So, I don't know. I thought that was gorgeous. These were only $2.99. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep these or bring them. The other side is, it could be Amitrine too. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. Let me throw out the back. That one's gross. Um, so this side, you can see there is wear on there. But I love the asymmetry of this. My husband will hate it. And it's copper and, like, silver and gold. So I just, like, these are unique. These are artistic and unique and fun. So, I don't know. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, here. Let's see this one. This was a dollar. And I bought this. Not for these two. These two will go in. But it is marked 925 in there. Don't remember if there was anything missing. No, I don't think so. But look at what beautiful bangle that is. Oh, I remember, because I was like, there is something with this, but it's, uh, some of the gold is coming off, but only on the tip, so you can't really see it when you're wearing it anyway. So, I thought that was really different, and I almost thought you couldn't even wear that with, like, plastic bangles, because who cares, right? This is 925. This is pretty. I wish I could find more of these in necklaces as opposed to the bracelets. Tennis necklaces are just really awesome. I liked the clearness of these. I don't have a lot that look like this. So I just thought that was really fun. I think sometimes people can't tell the difference of if those are like <laughs> real or not. I don't think they can always tell the difference. And then I got this one. Pretty sure these are sterling silver findings. I think it's marked here. 925. Sure smells like it. And I also kind of like the way it's put together here. Like the long piece like that. And it is... Two different, well, maybe three. Three different colors. Two different colors of, of ambers. And three. Got the egg yolk. The Baltic, almost cherry. And some of the regular amber color in this. And it is real turquoise. Which is a fun combo. So. And there's like a bead in between each of them. Which I think the spacing of it. It's well thought out. So. I thought that was unique. This was $9. Okay, it's Running Bear, our beast, Sterling. And this has all kinds of different stones. And the, I thought the colors are, like, almost circusy in, like, a neat way. So you have coral and carnelian and all kinds of different colors. 
of stones, of natural stones. Isn't it different? I think if you had a pendant big enough, this would be really neat to put a pendant on. Like sometimes when you have the big bales or you have the ones that open up that you can put on, I think it would be really fun. And I do like the colors. It's just kind of unique. Not something I see all the time. And this one was $2.99, and I'll tell you why I bought this one. It's a beautiful color. That is not why I bought it. I bought it because I thought this would be a very nice layering piece. Because, again, we're talking about layers. I would love to see where this falls on my neck. I do love the blue. Um, let's see. I'll try it. It's hard because you think you can put it here, but you have to put it here. Oh. Okay, it's not choking me. <laughs> Very important to know. So I bought that for layering. Because the other thing is, you can layer gold and silver you can layer real silver with fake silver you can do whatever you want to do but your imagination and the tones and the styles tell you what to do this one was kind of expensive i think i had 20 percent off this was 17 i bought this for me though this is j crew and it is probably the loveliest j crew bracelet i have ever seen to be honest. See, come on. Come on, bracelet. Ah. Like, is that not stunning? The two different colors. I just, you know, we talk about future vintage sometimes. This is future vintage. Future vintage. <laughs> um, it's really well made the, these are glass and crystals, rhinestones it's just amazing I just love this so it's heavy too it's such a heavy piece it's a stunner and I love the color combo And this was four dollars. This is Daddy's little girl. I don't think that was originally on this charm. Um, I don't think this one was either. But I liked this one. And I think it might be Brighton. I don't know why it's got the double chain there. Let's see, we're going to take this guy off too. These are like 80s charms or something like that. Um, isn't that beautiful? I love that. I think some of the Brighton enamel jewelry is really nice. I got this one. This one was $2.99. It is a small Monet bangle, which is the perfect size for me. I like their smalls because it fits. These are so nice. I don't know if I've ever seen somebody um have a whole stack of them. I really, I need to do that though. I have some of them. This one is in... Perfecto condition. Right, Mike? I love the crown, too. And then this is sterling. I thought it was this $10. I don't think it was $20. Maybe it was $8. It's something like that. But I have not seen sterling bangles like this. And they're getting harder and harder to find as well. The 
vintage sterling bangles like this. So, I love that one. Mm. Also found this one. <laughs> the guy was going to charge me sterling price for a mercury dime. Like one mercury dime, he was going to charge me like $10 for it or something like that. I'm like, that's ridiculous. Um, and I found other things there that were sterling and stuff like that that I'm like, okay then. Um, this is in good condition. It has the cloisonne little things on there with the beads. I'd say it's in good condition. Sometimes at night things look worse than they do during the day, but this is a Vogue. Vintage Vogue. Uh, necklace. And it's really, really nice. It is, it is, like, there's no chips or anything like that on the enamel. And Vogue is a good costume jewelry brand vintage, um, if you see it. I always pick it up. And this one, I got this on Poshmark, I believe. It was like $18. Again, their shipping is so expensive. But you can find nice deals sometimes on there. And I like this one. I This is the liquid silver. It says sterling on there. Um, but I liked this one because it has the turquoise and the beads here. And I thought this one was really nice. I think they are real sterling or real turquoise. So... I thought this was a really nice one. I think this one came with a sterling, a small sterling uh, brooch as well. So, I don't remember where I got this one from. This is a lapis necklace. Although it's, it's hard sometimes for to tell the difference between lapis and sodalite. I think sodalite doesn't have the um, inclusions, the uh, pyrite inclusions, though. That's kind of the difference. And this has a sterling silver clasp. Speaking of J. Crew, so I got that bracelet. This is another one. I don't remember how much I paid for this one. This one's going in my collection also with that because this is J. Crew and this is in extremely good condition and just really beautiful. Looks like a collet necklace almost, but it's got a little bit extra. This will be gorgeous. And these are glass, not plastic stones. These shine and they look so nice. So like, you know, you can see some of their better jewelry compared to some of their not as good. Yeah, pyrite. Pyrite is in lapis. That's the um the little flex that you see is the pyrite inclusions. All right, let's do just a couple more. I like going through these things with you so then I can put them away. When I don't go through them, I don't always put them right away. Look at this one. This was six ninety nine. I think turquoise might also have the the pyrite, but I, I don't quote me on that. I'll have to look that up. This is signed nine two five, and I do believe this R is the one for um, 
Oh, why can't I think about? Why can't I think of the name right now? But it's very pretty. Um, I'm thinking Reed and Barton, and that is definitely not it. I'm telling you guys, as soon as you put the camera on, you lose all, all your brain. Your brain cells just, just, they just die off. So I think these are fun to layer together. I like, I like that. Right, Tanya? It's like, oh, I, you know, I have a whatever vocabulary, but <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm live. What, what's my name again? This was, these were $3.99 and these are interesting. I have not tested them. Um, let's see if they're magnetic. They're not magnetic, but I don't know if that matters because it's marked down here with this, like, almost like a bear. An SS. I think they're sterling silver. They look like it to me. I will test them. Because if it's stainless steel... For SS, it won't, it barely scratches off. If you've ever scratched um, stainless steel on your uh, stone, it doesn't, doesn't leave a mark. Um, but you can kind of tell the sterling. <laughs> I love your videos, Mike. So I love these. I have that one bracelet that you guys saw that I need to put up. Uh, this one. So like, aren't these so awesome together? I love it. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I think it's sterling silver. We'll see. I'm also pretty sure this is gold over sterling, even though it's not marked. This is... I did test for sterling silver. <laughs> Sally. And you can see how it's kind of... I've noticed that silver... It gets this color when it when it's got the gold over it. It's got that sheeny, like almost gasoline sometimes and it's got like a garnet and then this enamel I don't think there's a cure for me Sal so I don't know if medical help will help and there's no problems with it at all the one lady said a whole bunch of people looked at this one um it, there's no markings on it but I'm I'm pretty sure this is gold over sterling and it is enamel, which enamel is glass, by the way. It's it's a glass coating. That's why it can crack and break, because it is glass, which I think is really cool. So I also thought this was neat. So, look at, like, you can also layer up your bracelets. I think these are really fun together. Um, this one is marked. It's sterling. It's dirty. I think it might have had um, some kind of other plating over it, or it's just dirty. Danecraft sterling. It's marked there and here. It's marked twice. So, you know, they'd really have to be lying to you a lot. Thanks. I got to put one more coat on them. My husband picked out which ones. It is his, his birthday soon. So. I love it. So nice. I don't have a lot of these. I think these are moonstone. Or they're glass. Um, either way, I love it. 
And I have two of these. I think I have to repl replace the one. Look at, well, maybe not. This one's kind of crazy looking, but I think it'll still work. I thought for some reason it was like not going to even go, but I love these. They're so spooky. They're sterling. It's Mark 925 on the inside. Super duper fun. Love those. <laughs> I thought you said you just iced your husband's cat. I was concerned for a minute. This is nine two five. These this one was eight dollars. Some of these prices are remember some of these prices. I do not. Hello, Miss Mindy. Um, I have a terrible, terrible memory. And I just thought this was pretty. Look, look at this side. I think that's an E. I don't even know what that is. I would have thought the other side of the Mother of Pearl. I've never quite seen anything like it. I like how the things go on this side. I don't remember if this was even marked. Yeah, it says something up here. I might just say 925 out there. I don't know. But I thought it was kind of spooky. <laughs> In a fun way. Looks like a full moon behind a tree. And I love that. Oi. <laughs> I got some weird stuff too, but I also got some cool stuff. Uh, this one was five ninety nine. I am like, this is one of those ones that I found, and I was like, oh, oh my goodness, five ninety nine, because I recognized it because I have this already. So I'm gonna have to list this or something. This is quartz, and it is sterling silver. It is Salpada. And they probably didn't know because it's marked at the bottom here. And marked in here, too. But, like, it's hard to see it. And so this has pearl, sterling silver. And it is so cool. I think there's, like real stones in between the stones too this is a stunning piece it is not cheap look, look at how gorgeous this crystal is just oh i love anything clear and clear crystal is nice so i have to figure out what i'm gonna do with this one there's really no sense in wearing two of these. Sometimes I will, like, keep them so that I can, like, wrap one around or layer them. But, like, there's... can't really layer that. So. <laughs> See some weird stuff? <laughs> like, why did I get this? But it's cool, and I don't really pay a lot, so... You know, that's why. These I are napkin. Not napkin, but like... Na what do you call them? Oh my goodness. Those things that children eat. Go on their chest for food. Not a napkin. It's like a napkin, though. A bib. <laughs> it's a bib holder. These are vintage bib holders. Sterling silver. Little bunnies. There's got to be a way... That I can use these some other way. What do you guys think? There's got to be a way to repurpose these. Because I don't currently need a bib. Unless I go to like an Italian restaurant. And eat sauce. <laughs> Wear these with my bib. Could do that. <laughs> they do give you a bib at one of them here. They're just really cute. 
I love these, so I bought this one again for layering. It had something else on it. I don't remember what, but this is sterling silver. These are like the scroll chains, I think. Hello, Miss Vicky. Welcome. So I I thought these would also because I like to vary texture when I when I layer. I like to stick with a theme or something that means something to me, um, but change thicknesses and stuff like that. So, so like this. Y'all know why I got this one. This one I will probably keep to layer with my hearts or something like that. Look at it. It's a kitty. And it's a cute one. It looks just like my kitty. So, and obviously it reminds me of my cat. It reminds me of my husband. So, um, that's why I got that one. Because I thought that would be nice with hearts and stuff like that. I don't think I'm going to, I don't know about this one. I don't know. I don't like this other one as much. Just because I like the, the outline of the other one this is gold filled but it is a real cameo real shell cameo i mean all cameos are real cameos it's just some are shell and some are not shell i think this is also gold like a gold filled and so i'm sure i will bring this as well to auction this one like i said i'm not 100 percent sure what i'm gonna do with this one so maybe i'll put the uh the dichroic glass on this but this was the other kitty i got and smart 925 <laughs> It is cute, but it, this one, this one's more my style, so I don't know. <sighs> I bought this <laughs> because you couldn't use your credit card unless an order was $10, and it was, like, more expensive than I needed it to be, um, but it's still cool. This is 925 so sterling silver made in china but it is one of those ones for the thing where jesus is walking beside you and um the waves it's that thing so but it's really subtle footsteps which i just i think is beautiful so I will probably also bring that to the auction because it's also way too big for me. And then this, I did not pay that much for. This is also Salpata. I think because it's so dark, people don't even take a look, right? Like, this one is so... And I think it's meant to be that way, you know, because whenever I see them, they're pretty dark. So I think, like, people just don't even, don't even look. But this is sterling silver. And I don't know what I'll do with this one because I also have this one already. <laughs> so we'll see. But that's part of why I see it. Yeah, I think that is such a beautiful poem. I We had one of those ones with the footsteps growing up on uh, a photo. And I just remember thinking about how beautiful that was. And how the idea of not being alone ever, even when it seems like it, you know, is just such a beautiful thing. And I, I still think so. Um... 
This is so different. So this is handmade. Handmade with this thing too. And it's Sarab Sterling, S-A-R-A-B. Um, it's kind of modernist. I think it's supposed to be a snowflake or something, which for snowflakes today, but it could just be something else. I don't know. It's pretty heavy, decently heavy. So I thought that was cool. I think I, this one was $8. So for $8, <laughs> it's hard to say no. I also need your opinions. What do you guys think? Okay. Oh, and this one too. All right. So I still have a couple other things over here, but I think I'm going to end in a second. I bought this thinking of a sterling silver, and I am pretty sure it is not. I don't know. I thought not because of up here, but I don't know. We'll see. But it is small. Doesn't even fit my pinky. <laughs> and then this it says I think Mexico nine two five. It looks like it's supposed to be a sandcast design with an opal, like a black opal. Oh. What do you guys think about this one? I think it's really cool. But again, this is too big for me too, so I think I'm going to bring this one to auction because it's too big for me. All right. I paid like $50 for this. <laughs> I don't know why. What do you guys think? This is sterling silver. It is marked somewhere inside of here. I remember I did find find it. Oh yeah, in there it's marked sterling, literally. Um I couldn't tell what this is for like it's got the snake, so I thought it's supposed to be like Egyptian, but it's got the braids, which I don't know. You still think it's like a pharaoh or something? Um Never really seen anything quite like this. And it's got ruby eyes. And I just, like I said, when I find something truly different and unique, I have a hard time. It does look Egyptian, right? But I, I don't even know. The co yeah, cobra on top. I even thought it was a chick, but it's not... <laughs> <laughs> not a chick. <laughs> and so, yeah, it goes to here. And then, so you can size it because it is kind of big, but um, it is sizable because it's it's got the plainness here. That's why they do the plain bands so that you can size it if you need to. And then the braid. Right? Like, it's just, oh, you think it's a cobra on the sides, too? I thought, I thought it was, looks like a braid to me, but I just, I don't even know. It's, <laughs> isn't it unique, though? My goodness, I've never seen anything like it. And this, like, the back is really cool, too. It's nice and textured. And it's heavy, too. Like, this is decently heavy as well. So would you guys have picked that up, too? Like, I can't help myself <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> like, it's just cool. Like I said, I think it was 20% off or something at the store that day when I went also. So they gave me a better deal. I think it was like fifty dollars, but ta we have our tax is pretty high here as well. So, mmm, neat. Yeah. So this is also cool. So I hope you guys had fun 
please, I always love to know what you guys like the most. Um, and you can name a couple of things. You don't have to name just one. And uh, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Like I said, I will be having an auction with some, some of these items. Um, mostly the ones I put over to the side uh, on Sally's channel uh, on Wednesday. So if you're not subscribed to Miss Sally, what are you doing? Because she's amazing. She's way cooler than I am. Vintage Discoveries. And uh, I will see you guys in my next video. Uh, 6.30. Wednesday. This Wednesday. Be there, be square. Bye, guys.